Hey, awesome. Bring in a video. Terror reacting to question mark, question mark, question mark, uh, percentage sign. I don't know how to fucking what the title is, but this is from Enigma. This is his Mob Psycho 100 rap. Uh, a lot of y'all told me to react to this one, and I am using the Brazilian channel translation, um, video. So, once again, I'll put uh, this video in the description as well as the original uh, video in the description as well. So that being said, let us react. Interesting. Hey. Before this turns up, because I feel like this is gonna turn up a bit, I really like this instrumental. It's very unique. Like, I don't know what instrument that is, but in the background you hear this very electronic sound. I'm not sure if that's an effect or an instrument, but I like that because it fits with uh, the theme of Mob Psycho. Because it's such an interesting and weird instrument and sound. It fits perfectly with um kind of what mob cycle is about which is kind of weird this art style and the animation so i really like this and i also kind of like how we're getting to mob's character a little bit kind of talk about like what do you want to do and stuff like that and being too uh super powerful mm. Ooh. Oh my, this was a different kind of turn I was expecting because I say this all the time that we always expect Enigma to do some sort of really high quality explosion with music, right? The guitars kick in, it's, his voice gets way more uh, louder and intense. We all expect that, right? But then this one feels such more or way more appropriate. Like, this is talking about how getting to 100% for Mob means he's going to, you know, release control. He's going to lose control of his powers. And I feel like Enigma's style of doing his explosion, it perfectly coincides with the character of Mob. I'll say one thing about why that kind of climax is super powerful and important because it feels like Mob, obviously, if it kind of feels like that's Mob's story. Also, if we kind of go back a little bit, I'm going to go back to the entire thing because I really like this climax. <laughs> That part right there, it feels like it's an enigma, kind of. Like, there's this weird, not weird, but it's this desperation that it doesn't feel like it, it 100% fit, fits with Mob. Like, obviously, it could fit with Mob just because of his character. But if we kind of peel that back a bit, that's kind of like an enigma. Like, just asking for help. Just like, hey, 
please help me. Like, I don't know what to do with my emotions. And I don't really know Nathan personally. I'm pretty sure he's a cool guy and everything. But, like, like, what if this is his way of, like, help, please? Like, announcing that he needs help. Um, it, Obviously, if that isn't what he intends, that's cool. But, like, if he does, like, have a little bit of intent, I kind of like that. Just because it just makes... Enigma's music way more personal with a lot of fans because I'm sure a lot of us can feel just like this very um, in need of help because we don't know what to do with our own emotions because we might hurt people. Me responda porque você usa tanto seu poder para suprovar seu existência. Oh, it's different that line. <laughs> I like that there's a part two to that explosion too. Like, it's just, it makes this song feel way more desperate. Like, you can just hear the desperation in Enigma's voice where he's saying, like, I don't mean to hurt you, but all I do is destroy it when I'm unconscious. Like, this is all I can do. I'm sorry. Like, oh, it's, it's just really great to listen to. And really emotional too. Man, Enigma's been. Pumping out emotional shit re recently. It's, it's hitting me in the feels. A lot of a lot of these two cover just because of the instrumental and how he's writing the song. But like once again, Enigma's just really good at portraying um story with his with his um emotions. And he does it the same way here, where like at the beginning of this or we if we go back to the the chorus, that one came really fast for some reason. Like I feel like the chorus came faster than the other courses that he has run for other songs. Because I feel like it makes sense. He's talking about his brother, he's talking about people who are trying to take his brother. So obviously he's going to explode. That's where the chorus comes in and that's why it comes out very suddenly. Same thing with this one where it seems like he's way more like he's talking about anger, right? But you can kind of feel the intensity with Enigma. Like you can kind of feel like he's hesitating, like he doesn't want to be angry, he doesn't want to feel this motion, but like he kinda of has to. You know, I have no choice but to use the power. So very interesting. I really like how Enigma has kind of structured his writing. <laughs> Gratidão e a gentileza é o verdadeiro poder. 
Reagan is the, is such a cool protagonist and a really cool master in general, to be honest, or not master teacher. Um, it's been a while since I watched Mob Psycho. I've never watched the second season, but I do like what Reagan says about like the whole kindness thing, like kindness, like or real power is all about being kind and gratitude, and I think that's a really good lesson to pass on to young generations because we have this twisted we we have this twisted look on reality where we think power comes from being angry power comes from being uh more vicious than other people you know you gain power by being uh stronger than other people right but i like what reagan says with like power is just being kind to other people and Rather, you be being powerful yourself, you're lifting other people with you. Because that's what power is. You lift everyone with you, and with your combined strength and uh, just your overwhelming numbers, you're going to be stronger than anyone else. And I think that's just such a good lesson that we can all benefit from just kind of reminding ourselves. Ooh, I love that. Uh, chorus too when they like not the chorus not the chorus but like that choir or like you hear the ah, in the background i really like that it kind of makes makes this a bit more powerful I don't know what the fuck is happening in Mob right now, but that's just, that's an emotional B I wasn't ready for, man. I wasn't ready. <laughs> but uh, let's go back a little bit. Uh, I love what he says about the whole friendship thing. Like, your power is basically a sad power. Like, you know that he, this person isn't going to love you more for doing this. You're kind of just doing this out of um, desperation. And I like that. He knows what, what that is. So, just a fun call out. Okay, I'm sorry y'all, but we need to talk about so many things right now. <sighs> There's so much to talk about. Okay, this last bit. Where he's talking about how everyone needs someone to be in their life. That's true. We all need some sort of community. We all need love. No, no matter who you are, no matter what kind of lifestyle you live, Love is something that you do need. You need that human connection. And I love how Mob or Enigma or just this entire song is about forgiveness, essentially. And, you know, this big villain who has used other people to get what he wants, who doesn't care about other people's emotions, has finally had someone who is able to look at him as a human 
And obviously, we see Mob about to fucking rage punch this dude, which he deserves, obviously. I imagine this dude's the reason why Mob's family is dead. And obviously, that's murder. <laughs> it's wrong. We all know that, right? But, like, I love how Mob is, like, no. Like, this is action coming from someone who isn't loved. And he's willing to be that person for someone. And I think that's just a, such a powerful statement because whether we were bullied or whether, you know, injustice was wrongly done upon us, it goes to show that we all do need someone. And whether or not you believe forgiveness, that's up to you. But what I'm saying is that we should all strive to be good people to everyone. Obviously, there are a few caveats to that rule, but, you know. So as, as is life, it's complicated. But my general rule is that you just be as kind as you can to other people. Because you don't know their life story. And also, one last bit. singing the chorus i don't know what when it means to the context of the show but to me it feels like it's that community that you have like when you're in your mind when you don't know what to do you're gonna have people beside you who can help you you aren't tackling any of these emotions by yourself you are surrounded by people who love you and i think that's a beautiful thing to just tell people that you are loved and cared for. Even if you don't see it, someone out there does care about you. So I think this beautiful chorus at the end is just perfect. What a beautiful way to end the video. Um, speechless, that's all I need to say. It's a beautiful video. And once again, just letting everyone out there know you're cared for and you're loved for. And if these videos provide you any comfort or any sort of escape from any health, unhealthy emotions, I'm glad that I can be a very small influence. A very small positive force in the world. So, as I always say, just be cared for your love and always love the God, bless this dude. Simply ordinary. Howdy.